A few years back, a lofty project was launched here in the nation's economic capital, Douala. The container you see right behind me was meant to collect plastic bottles from the environment. But unfortunately, years down the lane, the container can no longer serve the purpose. According to a project which was dubbed Plastic Recube, these three black holes were meant for consumers to slot in their plastic bottles, get a reward, and the plastics would later be recycled. Sadly, though, most of the containers like this one at the Bona Prison neighborhood in Douala have been abandoned. They started, people were doing as they, they, they told us that they should be putting unuseful bottles there. At the start, people were putting the bottle, but sometimes they just stopped it. I don't know why. Now, when we walk at the street, everywhere at the street, you just see bottles, useless bottles anywhere. Meanwhile, there's a doors been for bottles, so I don't know the use of the doors been there. The Plastic Recube project, launched by a brewery company in collaboration with the Hygiene and Sanitation Company, fell in line with a 2012 government regulation that imposed on manufacturers using non biodegradable packaging to recuperate and recycle plastics and save the environment. We contacted the company in charge of the project to find out what went wrong, but the company hierarchy declined to comment. Today, plastic pollution has reached unprecedented levels in Cameroon with corresponding consequences like in the Dhaka neighborhood in Douala. If you look right behind me, you realize that water can no longer circulate in this waterway because uh, the path has been blocked by plastic bottles. Now we are in the rainy season and rains are bound to fall. This means that what? When the circulation can no longer be possible, this is one of the major causes that leads to flood in the nation's economic uh, capital, Douala. Experts say plastics inhibit the penetration of water into the soil and this has a direct relationship with floods. Plastic papers are very light and they are easily transported by water. Taking cognizance of the fact that water itself has a high degree of speed, velocity and material being light suspends on top of water. So this is easily pushed into gutters or runways. Consequently, the bottles, because there are so many, they block up and part of the water now has to overflow the banks and the scene on the streets. Plastic papers, once they are placed on the surface, they inhibit the infiltration process of water into the soil or maybe inhibit the, the, the process of infiltration or absorption of water by the soil particles. Consequently, water is bound to move on the surface. The people living close to this blocked drainage bear the brunt. We are living in floods. As you can see, the bottles are everywhere. When it rains, the water flushes the bottles and they get into our houses. We sometimes try to remove the bottles, but we can't remove all. When it rains, we are really in problems. I can't tell you the pain we go through. If you want to see the real chaos, come when it is raining. The last time it rained, we all abandoned our homes. It is painful. I don't want to talk about it. Since the start of the rainy season this 2018, Cameroon's economic capital, Douala, has experienced the worst flood, leading to human loss and material damage. Experts warn, unless the waterways and the drains are rid of plastics and other waste material, there are bound to be more floods with correspondent effects.